Crafty Wands, Pam and E with Pam's Paper Place, and I have finished the second Woodland Fairy Journal. The first one I made for myself, and this one is the other one I made, and I'm probably going to make a couple more similar to this. Um, but before I do, I, before I forget, um, I wanted to show how I, somebody asked how do you take apart a, this soft cover uh, Edith Holden because I mean I have taken some things out but it's like you know the signatures are glued in for heaven's sakes let's see okay because I got that there we go they are like glued in and so you can still take them apart to have a, they have just tiny little signatures and you can kind of see when you look down here like see how that's like this see that here so then you can tear that out I mean it still has and And you could always reinforce it. And let's see if we can do another one. See now, yeah. Okay, so it is, you're not going to have the signatures together, I'm seeing, because, yeah, it's just been glued. But, but you can... Yeah, this one's just, you know, glued. But you can put, you know, cloth here. You can put um, strips of paper. And then you still will have, you know, your pages for a journal. So I hope that answered your question. Um, yeah, because when they're glued in, you're not going to have, like... Um, you know how you would a page held it together but you can always work around that okay and now let's um, look at the journal and um, it is well cover to cover is about 10 <clears throat> by <clears throat> about six and a half you know, a little overhang here, seven. And it's similar to the other one. I did add a couple um, wood buttons and vintage buttons here. And then you have lots of leaves and fun things here at the bottom. You have a little fairy door. See the little fairy there with her face and her wings? And there's one signature, and this is real pretty. I wish I had more of this. It's, I don't think I do. It's a tapestry. And then you have some more little flowers and leaves. And it is very chunky because when you open it up with this tie here, you will see that yes chunky but it's fun okay so let's look at the woodland fairy journal and this one is sold but um you know you can always contact me and say you want something similar or you know ask me the price my email is will be in the description um and if I don't get contacted, I'll probably put some in uh, my Etsy, Pen to Paper by Pam. All right, so let's start. Here I have a lace pocket. I have a little flower here, and it is holding a locket or a little fairy door, like the front has a fairy door. And we have a cute two little cute fairies in there. 
and that just shuts like that it's got a little twine here and I love this fabric I was I won a giveaway quite a while ago and I got that fabric I don't have any more of it but uh, I like it and then I use this as closure pretty sturdy closure I have a tag here this journal belongs to and I added a little wood mushroom but button it's been stitched around and it has fun little things at the top and coffee dyed paper and then here is an envelope it has um, vintage bed sheet a little doily a little bow so it's sewn and then here you I have um this is a dyed paper doily and I added this little piece here in some cheesecloth and then in here we have a cute uh, couple little farrier elves and a owl I love owls and I added this leaf here stamped on the back so I'm really enjoying these types of journals and like I said I'll make a couple more until I get you know feel like moving on to the next thing it's kind of how I work I just you know you have to be in the mood for something and then here um, some digitals um, this is with um, musings by Nikki a lot of them here you can see the uh, and this and this journal is similar to the first one so you know if you don't want to see this flip through it is similar to the first uh, journal that I made like this uh, a few things are different and here is a little glass mushroom and I have different um, fibers here and the birch pocket wrapped around I added this flower fairy and a little flower and here's like moss so in this pocket and you have a little bingo card that I stamped with a cute little stamp there of that fairy and then I have a little fairy here and inside I have a couple um, flower cards with some stitching and that goes in this little garden packet oh there's something else in here in that too okay and I think there's one more thing in the pocket it's a little fairy card aren't you cute a little fabric tie okay and then here's the floral page and I added some uh, tool and a little lace that was sewn on and then I did this zigzaggy stitch so I could um, add this leaf type mulberry paper and I added some twine here I stamped a leaf and here's a little mushroom tag and then we have this little field note card and here's the invisible pocket and here I added some you see the uh, cheesecloth here um, I made this it's a napkin uh, decoupage done and then I added one of these like you know Tim Holtz little uh, die cuts and there is a tuck behind the po uh, tag behind the pocket I added some pretty sparkly tool and then this is a napkin and I fussy cut the fairy out and I put her on there 
she's running through the garden and then I stamped a little bit on the back and then the pocket we have another little well it's a little booklet I sewed around cute little fairy and then we have different papers dyed paper food color dye green just different sizes lots of fun and there's some fairies and there's some embossing of some butterflies okay and then here is where I added the leaves and then this netting here and then I added another leaf on this side we have a pocket and we have a vintage postcard it's like embossed to Mrs. Van something shirk dear sister would like half dozen pictures will write in a day or two Emma and I can't see the dates I thought that was really pretty embossed that vintage postcard and then we have an envelope that I altered a little fairy behind here a little fairy stamp and this uh, like it's like a handmade pulpy like I never know what to call it um, kind of a paper but I really like that and then we have um, a it's like a little flower wax seal inside is a uh, wonkily stitched um, a scan of my flowers from last year in my garden And then I did um, some decorative stitching onto this paper here. Here's a little butterfly tuck. And here are some fairies. Oh, fairy tag. There's a little butterfly there too. Here we have this paper here, really pretty. It's a digital. And on this, and I uh, did a little stitching of that there eyelash trim and you can see the mushroom card and another field note card okay And then we have a flip here. So you got a little cluster up here. Then you got this pretty feather um, fabric. Then you have this netting or tool. And then you have this fabric here. And then these two layers are held on with this little uh, mushroom. It's a little mushroom uh, bead. And that flips up. Here's our little leaf tuck, and we have the uh, cute little butterfly girl or fairy girl. Some butterflies at the top. It's on some craft paper. There's that fun paper, looks like little twigs in it, and I brought the birch little belly band around and here is the shaker I believe we made this together I added a little sequin here and I added some ferns in here and it's just just fun and then we have some pretty fairy uh, 
digitals and then I added another Tim Holtz die cut right here. Just added a little something and then a little label and here and I did figure out I got this from Julie Stein this paper so thank you Julie. So there's writing you could do here and then this little spot I like this little ferns here and added a skeleton leaf and a tiny little field notes. Goes right there. And then on this side I have a cluster and a little fern in this pocket. Field note card. A little card it has a little fairy. This is notes. I stitched and added the butterfly and the little label. And then we have a dyed index card. And then here was a cute little butterfly fairy. And this is a dyed index card. And then a little coffee dyed paper. We have um, just coffee dyed paper, a little mushroom here. And this is some more that looks like little twigs and leaves in there. Here is a pocket and there's little fairies. And see the little leaves. And I added some little eyelash shrimp. And there's just a little dyed index card here. And then there's a paper doily behind here. We have a Edith Holden, cute little bunny. And I added some lace here. And then we have a really cute little fairy. And that just holds this down. And here's my dyed green paper. And you can just see a little, looks like a wash of a fairy there. And then we have our butterfly here. And I have a couple little leaves right there. And some of my tape that I aged. A little specimen label. And there's another pretty Butterfly Fairy. Here's some more dyed paper. And then um, some fabric that flips up. And here's the little fairy that's under observation in this little dome. Isn't she cute? So we have that hidden there. We have a coffee dyed like ledger. Here's some of my vintage masking tape. And here's part of an Edith Holden with some really pretty, they look like smart on their Martins. And here's some more of that textured and I paper and I added a little ruffle there. Coffee dyed torn edges with a label. And here's the other side of this paper. I really like this with the ferns and the little butterfly. And that will open up. And you got a couple more little mushrooms. And cute little tags. And we have a booklet of a little fairy and the bunnies birds and we open it up you got more little fairies and a couple tags index card and then here is different papers so that's the little booklet
And here I just added some, it's like a cutoff of a, a napkin that had been decoupaged for a little interest. This is a fun page. I did end up adding more lace here, a little crochet lace and a little fabric here with some stitching. I added a little butter or a leaf and lace and a little uh, mushroom. So we got a little tuck here with cute little fairies. And that went in this pocket. And then in here, we have this cute fairy uh, in the CD case. And these little butterflies, and I added a little mushroom here and ferns. Isn't she cute? And that goes right in here, and I added this these fibers here. Okay. And just some more coffee dyed. There's little fairies there. Little fairy there. And then uh, there's a fairy charm up here. I almost forgot. Little fairy hanging there with the moon. And here's the other side with a, another little fairy, butterflies. And dyed paper here. I did some stamping of ferns. I added my old um, masking tape, have a little pocket here. Cute little tags, little fairy stamp. And I did some stamping. This has been coffee dyed, and then this decorative stitch here. And then here is a post to note that I think I got from Stephanie a paper, coffee paper scissors, I believe. Not the easiest to get it in now that it's fat. The book has gotten fatter. <laughs> okay, and then here we have um, a couple more little tags. And then I did add some of this lace here. I thought that was a pretty addition. And then look what we have. We have a little... Looks like a little elf or fairy, and he is hiding behind the ferns. And he's cute. A couple little mushrooms in the corner here. A little, um, I guess, sewed these fibers on here. It's like a textured paper. And then here is, um, I like how this uh, kind of brownish lace, you can see, tucks out from here. Oh, I think I remember. A couple things I forgot. Um, and one is, I'm going to do my little stamp, Handmade with Love, Pamela Vinnie. And then I do, what else would I want to do? Oh, I do need to add something here um, to this booklet but before i do that i just want to show you this lifts up and there's a little fairy in there right here so on the inside i think i want to add paper because that's pretty white in there so i'm going to add that and that goes like that and then you can see the little fairy so i'm going to keep that out so i don't forget then behind these little mushrooms and ferns we have another cute little fairy. Isn't he cute? You can't hardly see it. It's this little pocket I made right here. And then behind here, we have this little fairy. And 
and they're shy. Okay, then here I have some skeleton leaves, and then this is a little file folder here, and this little H tape here, and then I have a couple little cards here. And then here is a shaker page with lots of fun sequins and it's been stitched around and there's another little fairy and she's got a little star there and there's a couple little stars. So she is, I'm putting a little fairy dust in the garden. Okay, I thought there was a charm somewhere I missed, but where is it? Huh. Where'd it go? Well, that's strange. There was one that had little tiny stars in it. Well, maybe we'll still come to it. And here's the lace. A little label. Little tag here. I did a little stamping and a little pretty cluster here sewn on. And then here we have a little belly band. We have um, burlap here and these different twines, a little mushroom, a little torn paper, and a leaf. And then here we have a little dragonfly. See, love this paper. And I you know what I am missing a little. Oh, here it came off. No wonder. I've got to put this back on, but it's oops, it's like the little fairy has little stars in there. So I gotta find a place to put that. Okay, and then the last page here is um, more of this beautiful paper and we have a pocket here we have a writing board and then we have a little tag and then here is a little pencil and it is just put on with a uh, this is the leaf is glued on. It's more just for show, but hey, you could write with it. And it, and it has this little elastic here. I would put it in, I think like that. Yeah, it won't come out, I don't think. So that is the little fairy journal. And I had a lot of fun making it. And like I said, I'll probably make some more. And if you are interested, you can just message me. Otherwise, uh, you know, my email will be in the description. Otherwise, I'll just make a, make a couple and put them in my Etsy. So thanks so much for watching. You have a great day. We will see you next time.